ago, the Craft Beverage Modernization and Tax Reform Act provided tax cuts to craft breweries across the nation. Well, now the legislation is set to expire at the end of the year. Local 5's Aaron Taylor spoke to members of Northeast Wisconsin's brewing community about what this means or what it could mean for local breweries. She joins us live now with more. Aaron. Tom, Aaron, I'm here behind the scenes at Stillmonk Brewing Company. This is just one of many breweries in our area that have benefited from these tax cuts over the past two years. Um, local brewers say that they have used the money that they have saved from those tax cuts to invest back into their companies and into the community. And it did help us, you know, accelerate our growth to where we are now. Since 2017, Stillmink Brewing and other craft breweries across the country have benefited from a tax break. For the last two years, we've been doing our best to take advantage of the opportunity that we have with that. And we have grown our company and we have added employees. The tax in question is an additional tax placed on alcohol producers. We're still responsible for paying all the other taxes that any other business would have to. This is just a tax that's above and beyond for our particular uh, business segments. Previously, brewers were subjected to a $7 federal tax on every barrel of beer produced. The tax break cut that in half to $3.50. It really puts the, the uh, smaller brewer on a, a much more competitive footing um, with the uh, big uh, uh, corporate brewers. Brees Malt and Ingredients sells beer making supplies to local brewers. They say they've seen the impact the tax cut has had on those small businesses. We've seen some great growth in the industry with these small brewers and I feel that these tax cuts have uh, have helped drive that that growth. Any tax dollar savings really does make a big difference for us and we want to make sure that it's seen here locally. And a bill that would make those tax cuts permanent was introduced by Representative Ron Kind back in February, but nothing has changed with that legislation since then. Reporting live in Green Bay, Aaron Taylor, Local 5 News.